Hey Charlie, I just read your comment and the first thing that popped in my head or what I suspect your problem to be is your variable speed cylinder sleeves are out of time. So I grabbed my manual. Of course this is for 3300 but our machines are incredibly similar and this right here talks about checking timing on the variable speed cylinder sleeves so yeah the first step is check it find out if they're out of time I'm just going to take the camera and pan across the instructions here because I'm reasonably sure it's identical to what yours is and you know you can use pause button and um, screen capture to get this into a file that you could actually print it out. I'm not going to try to read it to you, um, but I'm just going to pan across this so that you can first go out and determine, you know, are they in time as they should be. Um, try to get this up here. Okay, now let's look over here at the next page as it says. And my book is well worn because I have spent many an hour in this book. All right, here's where it talks about timing. You know, if you check yours and you find them to be out of time, um, this is where you're going to want to, you know, get them back in time. So, give you a shot of that picture where it's pointing out some stuff and unfortunately this these instructions were not super clear it took me a while to determine what they were talking about and what they wanted me to actually do and uh, over here Now this was there's the tensioner that they were talking about taking the um, release the tension number two that's over here adjusting intermediate um, shaft drive belt and a right there and that long screw here. And if this thing's been greased proper, it'll turn pretty easy. I do suggest making a reference mark on this before you move it, because this tension's very important. You don't want it over tight. And that's basically the little thing about doing it. But I'm sure you recognize that pulley pressing up against that very large belt between those two variable sheaves. But uh, check timing. If you don't get the uh, results that I showed you on the other page then follow through this procedure here to get them back in time because I'll go right back to this right here keep the variable sleeves timed to be assured of the full cylinder speed range and it just sounds to me like you've somehow you know maybe the machine was never timed properly um, but somehow it's gotten out of time. There's been some something bound up or slipped or I don't know. I've got no explanation for how it got out of time. But check your timing on this. And uh, if it's out of time, then uh, I take the information from this page over here and go through this procedure to get things back in time like they're talking about doing. I hope that helps you out, Charlie. And Charlie, thanks for watching my channel. Take care. God bless.